series on the longitudinal module of REDCap. In the previous video, we talked about defining my events and enabling the longitudinal features for REDCap, for our REDCap project. Now we can go in and designate instruments for my events. When I click on designate instruments for my events, we'll note that in our first arm, the forms in our project are always enabled for the first study time point. So here we have a demographic form and the nacho craving index. And I can go ahead and click on begin editing. And when I do so, I'm given checkboxes to set up which questionnaires we want to take at which time points. So we might imagine that we don't need to update the demographic history at each time point, but perhaps for the sake of argument, we do want to just update at the last time point in case they need to be contacted in the future and their contact information has changed. I can go ahead and hit save. These change back to the green check boxes. Something important to note, when using longitudinal studies in REDCap, any questionnaire that we intend to fill out information for must be checked at least once. If we had a question, if we were to have a questionnaire with no green checks next to it, it would be impossible to enter data into that questionnaire for a given individual. We can then jump over to arm two. And here we see by default, none of them are automatically checked, but I can set this up to mirror my arm one. So again, begin editing. And I can go through and check off the various options and hit save. Similar to in the previous video, how we saw we could use a CSV to set up events and arms, we're also able to set up uh, event mappings using a CSV form. The primary use of this would be if we had a very lengthy and complex event mapping going with the different arms, we might find it easier to map out the instruments for a single arm, then download the, the instrument designations copy and paste but updating for each arm number and then finally saving and uploading our event mapping so that way we don't have to quite click through on each arm we can use copy and paste to relatively quickly uh, import our uh, different instrument mappings in the next video we're going to talk about the optional scheduling module uh, that comes with the longitudinal module